This match is actually very important and more tough than you actually think it is. Osasuna against Real Madrid. This is at Osasuna's home ground. Osasuna are strong at home. And yes, Real Madrid have come from a big victory, 4-0. They beat Salta Vigo in a pretty easy game, two on goals. Arda Gula scored, Vinny scored. But I'm mostly happy that Arda Gula scored his first goal. And what the goal was, did you see the composer? He only got four minutes of game time, which I'm not I'm not happy with that. He should be getting more, but he impressed and he should be getting minutes in the next match. Asasuno at 10th on the log. They have had close matches against Serona, Atletico and Barcelona. So you can't actually underestimate them because especially at the home ground, they are a strong force, they are a strong team. But Real Madrid have the players, they have the great players, they have Vinny who is in good form currently, he's scoring goals, yes his goal against Celta was a tap in, Bellingham is not going to play, Rodrigo is inconsistent and I would say he's out of form, Kamavinga had a strong showing, Chouameni had a strong showing, but for this game, it's going to be tight, it's going to be a very difficult match for Real Madrid, and in the past this match has been very one sided, Real Madrid beat him by 2 goals to no. That is also the match in which, if you remember, Alvaro Rodriguez shined bright in that match. And for this match, I'm going for a much tighter scoreline than in the previous match against Celta, which I predicted 5 now. For this match, I think 2-1. 2-1 suits this game. Because, trust me, the match for me will happen at 5 o'clock. It's going to be end-to-end. -end. It's going to be an exciting match. Arda won't start in case you're thinking that Arda is not going to start. Just because he scored a goal does not mean that Ancelotti is going to just suddenly start this guy. It does not work like that. And this fixture in particular is a big fixture because the next 10 games will decide the season. So I don't know I have to face Betis. That's going to be an absolutely insane match. Barcelona will have to face Atletico. So both of the rivals, both the rivals Barcelona and Girona could drop points in both of their matches. Real Madrid however have an easier match. This is a moment Real Madrid can't take for granted and I don't expect them to. Matter of fact today they train with masks. That usually means something big. Real Madrid plan to do this after the Leipzig match which was one of the worst performances. Real Madrid looks slow. Leipzig was dominating. The gas mask usually works. They usually do this in pre-season. They don't do this randomly during the season. So you know it's a big deal. This could either have a good impact or a bad impact on the players. But mostly a good impact. You can only imagine how much pain they're going to go through. Because Pintas, Antonio Pintas, will not take anything lightly on them. And also with the Champions League draw coming up this Friday, it's going to be intriguing because most of the big clubs have made it through. What my prediction is, I know this video is not meant for the prediction of the UCL, but when better to do it than right now? I think Real Madrid will face Arsenal. I just think it will be a good match. I've seen some Arsenal things this season. They've not been very good in UCL. They won their match on penalties. Real Madrid's best performances come from when they face the toughest teams, such as the Man Cities, the Chelsea's, the Liverpool's. Such type of matches bring the best out of the club. That's that. My prediction for this match against Osasuna, 2-1. So, that's it for now. If you enjoyed, leave your opinion, smash like, subscribe.